I didn't see that one coming. So, apparently there's a law firm planning a class action lawsuit against Bethesda for de- or deceptive trade practices as they fulfilled to or as they failed to fulfill refunds on Fallout 76. Um Miliarko and Rothod LLOP of Washington DC, I can't pronounce that name. I'm sorry. I'll put it up somewhere. <laughs> In the title or something. I don't know. Is a DC-based law firm. Posting on their blog, apparently. They are currently busy working on a deceptive trade practice. Investigation against the Fallout developers. Bethesda. So this is what they put. Whoever in Rutherford LLP is currently investigating Bethesda Game Studios for releasing a heavily glitched game. Fallout 76 and refusing to issue refunds for PC purchases of the game, who found it to be unplayable because of its technical problems. While minor bugs and glitches are expected with the release of most new games, Fallout 76 launched with a 56 gig patch that has proven to be but a starting point for the game's problems. Gamers who have tried to receive a refund because the game myriad of glitches have been unable to do so since they have downloaded the game, leaving them to deal with an unplayable experience until patches bring it back to a playable state. But anyway, there's been several cases of Bethesda refusing to acknowledge refunds for Fallout 76 that have been shared across Twatter and other places um, in the past few days. And... uh, yeah, that, that's been happening. Um, to be honest, I think the reason they wanted to force this out on their, um, what is it, their Bethesda launcher or something, is what they're calling it, instead of Steam, is uh, like everything else has essentially been on, it is due to the fact that Steam's return policy would force them to comply with everybody who wanted a refund, which is probably why they, they went through their own browser and uh if you didn't hear about that i'm sure you can look those up somewhere where bethesda bethesda the bethesda browser and really screwed up things from uh uninstalling the game as you try to play it as well as other things but uh that's a different story for another thing i just found this interesting thought i'd pass it on um when it comes to this i don't really know they'll really get anywhere with it. I mean, to be totally honest, deceptive trade practices for a glitchy mess, I guess they, I mean, they, they could have a case for that. But I'm not a lawyer, so I don't really know, and I know I'd be pretty upset if uh, I had bought in the game, especially at full price, and then two weeks later it drops to like 35, 40 bucks. But, uh, yeah, I'd probably want my money back, too, uh, considering this complete mess of a launch this has been. I still think, you know, Bethesda set this game up like a single-player game. Tacked on the multiplayer, or, and did not focus on how to optimize it for multiplayer, as well as using an engine they probably shouldn't have been using for it to begin with. But anyway, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Till then, I'll talk to you later. See ya. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment, smash that like button, and always subscribe for more. And of course, there are other videos floating around somewhere on the screen, so click one of those and see if you can find something that uh, suits your fancy. Till then, I'll see you later. Bye.